Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We are in Windenburg today building a modern home, which is something that I haven't done on this channel yet. Um, I haven't really built anything modern. I had a build that I was gonna do like I think a couple months ago and it was supposed to be in um, Del Sol Valley and then I just got really overwhelmed and then I didn't end up actually building it or posting it. So um, yeah. We are here now doing a modern build um, in Windenburg because I think like the this island part of Windenburg lends itself really well to modern builds and like originally there's modern builds on this island anyways so it just kind of fits here but yeah I just wanted to build something that was near the water I really like this area of Windenburg because they have like the like docks and stuff that go into the water which is like really nice I wish we had like um, lots that backed onto water so we could do like a frame cabin stuff and like have the what's it called the kind of foundation where it's like the stilts but they like go into the water I feel like you probably know what I'm talking about but I've always wanted to build something on that kind of lot and they obviously we don't have that kind of lot in this game which kind of sucks but yeah um, this is like the closest to the beach that I can get. So this is what um, I built, but yeah. I did think, when I was originally building this, I didn't think that much of a storyline, but then as I was doing the bedrooms and stuff, I kind of started getting a feel of who I thought might live here. Um, obviously you can do whatever you want if you download this house and you want it for your own household, but um, sometimes, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes it's fun to make up stories and that kind of thing. So I did think about that, um, but I'll talk about that a little later. Uh, like the Sims that I thought would live here. Um, at first, first I want to talk about um, kind of my, I keep <laughs> kind of having these little reprieves from my channel um, for like two weeks usually I try not to make it go longer than two weeks um uh and I'm not getting the I'm getting this video out before two weeks is up but that's usually my goal I don't want to not post for more than two weeks uh but yeah I've just been kind of I think with the current state of <laughs> the game and how ever the community has been feeling about it and things breaking with the patches and the love struck pack and just kind of all the pandemonium that's happened over the past uh I think like I guess two weeks really I think it's been um but yeah within all of that and like all the problems that everyone's been having with their game I think that I'm just getting a little bit I'm feeling like kind of burned out a little bit from sims which is weird because I haven't actually played it in a while um, usually I'll like play, you know, a legacy save or some other save that I have like families in, but I've just been really kind of uninspired to play um, and also uninspired to build. So it's been a little bit rough to try and record something. Um, and I think that's why I'm having a little bit of like <laughs> breaks in between uploads, um, which that can be healthy, obviously, like to take breaks in between. Um, especially if you're feeling burnt out, but yeah, I don't know if anyone else is feeling like that. I've seen um, some people kind of have that uh, opinion. I've also seen a lot of people not playing The Sims 4 anymore or going back to different ones just because they were so frustrated with not being able to play their saves or their saves getting deleted or um, just like the <laughs> constant updates and patches and stuff that get released, which is totally understandable. Um, but I think seeing the game in that state and like the community in that state is kind of depressing a little bit. Um, just because it's something, you know, that a lot of people love. It's a game that I love. So it's it's sad to see like the franchise kind of go so downhill. And it's been like this for a while. It's not like that new, but it's just, I don't know. It feels like the tide has shifted a little bit within the sims community um and how people feel about it um yeah i know i've kind of talked about this a little bit before uh i can't remember what happened some other thing where um you know 
a game the game wasn't working or something but i know that i've talked a little bit on this channel about um people kind of abandoning the sims 4 a little bit and like going to other games or previous versions of the sims um which i don't fault people for doing but yeah i guess sometimes it just feels a little sad and it, it makes me feel discouraged to get in the game um even just for myself like and not even just for the channel um but for myself too so i don't know it's kind of a weird vibe right now <laughs> um but yeah um i tried to do this build and see if it would kind of spark something <laughs> within me to feel like building again and getting in the game again and i did enjoy doing this build so um yeah that's nice that i liked it especially because it's modern and it's not usually a style that i go for or particularly really love um but yeah i i liked building this house uh so that's good at least we got this out <laughs> um but yeah let me know how you guys feel in the comments um just about like the game or your game or the community as a whole um i know obviously people are gonna still play this game because they have an attachment to it it's the only game that they've grown up with or um this is just the iteration that works the best on their computer um or they just honestly like the gameplay and that's totally fine too um but yeah let me know how you're feeling about it and like the current state of the game and all these patch updates and um the packs coming out and kind of being bugged to no end um it I heard someone say, I saw someone say in a comment that it's feeling similar to how The Sims 3 ended. Um, I don't remember that much about it because I, I didn't really have like a social media um, account or anything at that time. Um, so I wasn't really like internet, I wasn't really on the internet at that time, um, and like in a social way. But people were saying that it kind of reminds them of when The Sims 3 was kind of dying off like they were gonna stop um making content and stuff for the game and start moving on to other projects which ended up being the sims 4 <laughs> um but the pa last pack that was released for the sims 3 was into the future and they had said that it was kind of the same like there's a lot of glitches and bugs and stuff like that um i don't remember that time just because i wasn't on the internet and seeing you know people talk about it so i i genuinely don't know if that's how it was but i did see that so um people are kind of speculating if maybe the sims 4 is at the end of its life cycle i mean i feel like it's kind of been at the end of its life cycle for a while now um but yeah they're starting to see like similarities in um that kind of way from the sims 3 and when it ended so yeah i don't know i don't know if this is going to be the last expansion that they do um, I know that there was like speculation or rumors or something, um, or maybe it was like a leak, but people were saying that there's like another pack coming out. I don't know if it's supposed to be an expansion or if it's supposed to be like a stuff pack or a game pack or whatever, um, but it has to like do with funerals or death or something like that. Um, it's like not what I expected the Sims team to do, but <laughs> if it's true, then I guess that's something that would be coming out eventually. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know the longevity, I guess, of this game um, and how, I know that they said they had like years planned, but it's pretty clear that the game just isn't built to run this much, like this much content. Um, so I don't know. I, I don't think it's a good idea, <laughs> to be honest. And a lot of people have that sentiment um, just because it's, barely kind of running as it is um with so many packs and they just didn't have a strong foundation in the first place to kind of have that going on so i don't know it's it's kind of rough it's a rough situation it's kind of sad um yeah it was nice in the days where you were kind of like excited for an expansion release and you weren't kind of dreading all the you know bugs and glitches and if it was going to break your game and that's even like without mods and cc because i know that um i've been seeing people online say that they've had a vanilla game and they have no mods and cc and the pack and the subsequent like patches and updates and stuff um kind of botched their game so um 
seems like no one's safe, <laughs> I guess. But um, yeah, that's kind of why I haven't updated my game, just because I wanted to make sure I could, you know, film things and be able to get into the game without an error code, you know, coming up or something weird. So um, yeah, I've been kind of holding out on um, updating it. But yeah, um, I think as I'm filming this right now, it's August 8th and a pat I think another patch just came out today, which is supposed to fix a bunch of stuff that the Lovestruck pack um, broke. So I guess that's out. I don't know. I'm really scared to update my game, to be honest, but I also really want to use some of the things that were in um, the update for like cast, like where you could lock you know makeup and like accessories to every outfit because that's been needed for such a long time and um i made a cast video um in my last one that i uploaded to the channel and i really enjoyed doing that and i just like making sims in general so i wanted to do more um cast videos on this channel uh but i just you know it would obviously be a lot easier to make outfits and stuff like that if i could lock it to each um, outfit. So I, I want to update it for that reason, but everyone's having issues with like ceilings not showing up very well. And I know that would be so annoying as a builder, having the ceilings be like glitched out and have like outdoor lighting for some reason. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm hesitant to update it, but, um, I'm tempted. I'm hesitant, but tempted just because I want that. Um, some of the aspects of the update, obviously, but I don't want all of the glitches and stuff that came with it, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Um, I did mention in, I don't remember if it was the last video I did. It might've been, it's, it's hard for me to remember, but, um, I mentioned in a previous video that I wanted to do kind of a shell challenge not like a shell challenge i guess but like i told you guys i built like a big victorian house in um strangerville and this was like months and months ago um and i just couldn't get the interior to look right and so i kind of gave up on it but i still have the outside shell um that i really like and i said i could you know do a video i could because i have it the speed build filmed of the outside so i would like show the speed build and then kind of take you guys on a tour of it um and then go on the inside and then you guys could like furnish it yourself um and yeah i don't know maybe i'd make like a tag so like on tumblr um you could tag me in however you decide to furnish it and then we could do like a tour video or something i don't know just something like cute and fun <laughs> for the channel um i thought would be nice uh because we are over 3k now which is so awesome um, yeah, I'm really happy to see that so many of you enjoy my videos. Um, so yeah, I thought that'd be like a cute little thing that we could do as a community. And so hopefully I can get that up at some point as well this month. So yeah. It's also been a bit rough getting videos out just because I feel like my life has been a little bit more busy. Um, which I guess always happens in the summertime. People tend to be out more doing things and being a little bit more social um but yeah so i've just been hanging out out <laughs> i've been hanging out a lot more with um friends and um yeah just being kind of busy in real life so i haven't been here as much or like filming as much or um playing the game really um so yeah I'm, I'm trying to kind of balance it out a little bit because I do want to make more videos and stuff on here. And I think it would be, I'm really thinking a lot lately about diversifying what I'm playing on this channel. Um, I know it's like literally called Ellie Builds, so <laughs> I don't know if I could do anything other than building on here. Um, but I mean, I did cast videos and people like that, so I, I guess it doesn't really matter, but... Um, yeah, I want to do different things like the cast, um, videos that I've been doing, continuing to do builds, obviously, in The Sims 4, and, um, I did talk before about maybe doing builds in The Sims 3. The only thing about The Sims 3 is I want to do, like, cast videos, um, and upload 
um, Sims from The Sims 3 and also do builds for The Sims 3 and upload them, but I don't know how to do it so that like the CC is packaged with The Sims or like with the build. And when I Google it, it's like, I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm just looking up the wrong keywords or something, but I find it really difficult to find information on how to do it. <laughs> um, so if anyone can point me in the right direction um, for how to upload Sims and The Sims 3 with their CC and builds in The Sims 3 with their CC, then let me know, please. And <laughs> so I can um, read up on it and then try to do it because um, that is something that I've been wanting to do to like post it on my Tumblr and then do like videos on here about it. So yeah, if you do know, then please let me know um, about it or like somewhere I can get resources for how to do it or like, I don't know, a Tumblr post that <laughs> explains it. Um, but yeah, cause that's something that I would also like to do. I guess I can talk a little bit now about the build since I've been kind of just rambling. Um, obviously I wanted to do something modern because it's a modern build. So I wanted the inside to be modern as well, but I didn't want it to be cold, um, and kind of museum-like because I feel like modern builds can feel like that pretty easily, especially if you use like lots of concrete or something. Um, so yeah, I was trying to make this, especially because of like where it is, it's located on the beach surrounded by trees and like a forest area. So I just wanted it to be really like warm and cozy um, and using lots of wood. Cause I thought, I don't know. I was thinking that maybe like the wood that's used for this house, like the flooring and like the outside and the windows, like window frames and stuff like that. Um, maybe they use like reclaimed wood from like around Windenburg. Um, and so it's kind of like, you know, I don't know like extra wood that they use and it's part of the landscape you know like earthy kind of vibes um so that's kind of what I was thinking about it and it took me a long time to figure out <laughs> what kind of kitchen set I wanted to use I was gonna do like the all wood um which you saw before but I didn't really like the way it was looking so um I was trying to think about maybe doing like a colored kitchen with like colored cabinets um, and then I put these blue ones down and it wasn't bad, but I just wasn't feeling it. So then I ended up putting this really nice, like olive -y green color kitchen cabinets. And I think I like those a lot more. So yeah, I, I like how it turned out and you'll see from <laughs> this video that all of the rooms in this house are very large. Um, I did actually make this room a little bit smaller. Initially I had it, I think like a tile out. Um, but I put it back in because it just felt too big. Um, but yeah, so I just kind of made it a little bit smaller just so it would kind of flow a little bit better um, and was in such a massive space. But I do, I do make the rooms in this build a lot bigger than I would normally just because I felt like, I don't know, modern homes in general usually have bigger rooms. Um, they're very like airy, have big windows, lots of light comes in, and usually they tend to be on the bigger side. So I decided that I wanted this house to have bigger rooms. So um, yeah, you'll notice that <laughs> everything in here is pretty large. Um, I guess besides the bathrooms, the bathrooms are pretty average sized, I guess, for like a more affluent home. Um, but in general, the rooms are kind of big. And you'll see that with like the dining room area. The dining room is very large <laughs> compared to dining rooms that I usually do. Um, but I think that the people, like the Sims who live here, I think that they're kind of like entertainer kind of people in the sense that they like to have a lot of people over. Um, so yeah, I think they like to entertain people and they have friends and stuff that come over and to have like big dinners and stuff like that. Maybe it's like a tradition that they have where they get like together with their friends um, and just kind of like have these really nice dinners. And for like story wise, um, I was thinking that one of the Sims, so I was thinking like a couple lives here um, and one of them is actually from Windenburg and like grew up and was raised here. And um, they met their spouse who's from Mount Kermarebi 
um, when their spouse was like moved to Windenburg, I think like as a college student or something like that. Um, and then they met each other and they got married. And so now they have like these really successful careers and they live um, in this house together. They bought this house um, after their careers took off and they were able to afford it. <laughs> um, this nice, luxurious, <laughs> um, modern home on the beach. So that's kind of like the idea that I had. Um, and also like the vibes that I wanted because I wanted it to be like modern, but I also wanted to have like um, Scandinavian and Japanese kind of vibe, like with the furniture and like the pieces and stuff like that. So you'll see like that kind of inspired like art and things around the house. Um, yeah, and I just thought that was like a nice fusion um, from the couple that lives here, having kind of both of their cultures and like backgrounds and styles and stuff kind of in the house. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like what I was thinking. Um, and then when I got to the bedrooms, I was thinking that the spouse who's from Mount Kamarabi, um, I think she has like a sister and their parents are kind of like, they wanted them to be really successful when they grew up. So both of the girls kind of grew up really loving um, music. They're very like musically gifted and inclined and they took you know, music classes and stuff like that. I think the older sister who lives here um, with the husband from Windenburg, I think she really wanted to be a pianist when she um, grew up because it was something that she like, you know, learned and was taking piano lessons and stuff like that. And she really loved it. And then her parents were kind of like, no, like, I don't think you should pursue, you know, anything like in the arts or entertainment things. So she didn't end up doing that um and pursuing that but her and her younger sister um was going to university um I think for something like maybe it was like law or literature or something like that um but then she didn't really ended up she didn't really end up liking it um and she really wanted to pursue music as a career um so she ended up dropping out and their parents were pretty upset about it and they're like if you're gonna drop out of college um, or university, then you can't live here. Like you need to like figure it out on your own. Um, and we're going to kind of like not support you financially kind of thing. Um, and so the sister didn't have anywhere to go. And so she ended up moving here with her older sister, um, and her older sister's husband. So it's the sister, the younger sister and, um, the older sister's husband that lives in this house. So that was the, the kind of story that I was thinking about when I was building it, um, when I got to the bedrooms. So for one of the bedrooms, you'll see that there's like a music mixing table. And I think that's like the younger sister's um, room. And that's kind of where she makes music and stuff like that. And she's trying to get, um, you know, songs out there and trying to get them noticed by music producers or like a music label. Um, and that's kind of her thing. So yeah she's um trying to be a music artist basically i think the older sister i was thinking does like i think she does cooking like catering like she has like a business um and i think it's like a really successful um like restaurant and food business i think they do catering for like you know celebrity weddings and like they're they have like restaurants that are you know i don't know like a hundred dollars a plate kind of thing like it's really expensive so she's like in the food industry um in that way and uh yeah that's why she has like this really large kitchen because she does she makes like i don't know prototype um dinners and desserts and stuff and and test things out and then adds them to the menus and stuff like that so she has her really big kitchen um in this house that she kind of you know bakes stuff from um and i think that was her way of being able to have like a really successful career in her parents' eyes, but also doing something that she actually does like. Um, and I think she's still, I put a piano in this house and I think she still definitely um, plays piano um, on her downtime. I think she likes to go and just kind of groove out and play some sonatas or whatever um, music and stuff like that. And then I think her husband, um, who's from Windenburg. I think he was like a professor. I'm getting like 
academic vibes. They have a lot of um, books in this house. Like I made them have um, this like massive <laughs> like amounts of books on like the bookshelves that are in the living room. So I think that he is some kind of like academic career. It could be law, but I was thinking like a literature professor when I was building. So I think that's what he does for a living. Um, and so, yeah, combined, they were able to afford this big beach modern house in Windenburg. But yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. I also was thinking just like <laughs> that maybe um, the husband isn't that excited or doesn't really love that the younger sister's living with them. Um, I think he, they like to have that room as like kind of a guest room for people because like I said before, I think they have a lot of friends that they like to entertain. So I don't think he's very happy with her younger sister um, living in that room um, and living with them. Um, yeah, so I think that, I don't know, that's just what I was thinking, that he's like not super happy about the arrangement, but her older sister, because their parents were like, kind of worked a lot, I think, when they were younger. Um, I think her younger, or sorry, the older sister kind of took on a little bit of like a parent role when they were growing up. Um, so I think she feels this kind of um, responsibility to like take care of her sister. So when their parents were kind of like, we're not going to be financially supporting you anymore and you like have to kind of figure out on your own if you're not going to be in university studying law um the sister took her and was like you know i got you kind of thing just because they grew up with that kind of like dynamic where she was that kind of caregiver role i think um but yeah i don't know that was the <laughs> that's the story um that i was thinking of obviously if you download this and you want it for your other sims and that's not the story that you want to play that's totally fine but i like to just you know imagine something when i'm building um but yeah that's kind of what i was thinking uh for this build uh the little story <laughs> um but yeah um i think we're a little bit more than halfway through the video i'm getting very out of breath and i need to get a drink um, of water because I'm very thirsty. <laughs> so, um, I'm probably gonna leave it here. Just like the voiceover, obviously. The video's still gonna play. But, um, yeah. That's pretty much all I have to say about the build and the story and everything. And I will see you guys next time when I upload a video. As always, the links for the download will be in the description box. Um, this will not be on the gallery because I haven't updated my game yet and so I can't use the gallery right now. Um, but hopefully when I do update my game, I can try and upload it to the gallery um, for you guys to get it from there. But for right now, the download link will be in the description box um, and that leads you to some file share where you'll get a zipped folder with included CC um, and the tray files and then there's a google document link as well and that is for the rest of the cc it's kind of like the bulk cc that's too big for me to just add into a folder so it's all linked um with the creators and stuff that i used and the sets so yeah hopefully that works because i know i've had a little bit of problems with that recently but i think i fixed it i think it should be good so yeah but i'm hoping that it works because i definitely prefer that method of um kind of linking everything over what i was doing before when i just kind of put links inside of a word document um it weirdly is just makes the process faster for some reason um but yeah so yes that's how you download um this build and the cc and stuff so i hope that you guys enjoy this build um and i will see you all next time bye